Hello, my name's Christopher, and I'm going to show you how to install Dashdot on Portainer. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So, Dashdot is a modern server dashboard. It makes it where you can see the processor, the storage, the memory, the network, and a different OS, and then uh, dark mode, and then uh, it is open source. So you can go into this demo and you can see what it looks like a little bit more. It's, it's a pretty neat dashboard. It gives you some good info to see, just some quick info. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go to how to install Dashdot on Portainer. And then I'm going to go into Docker Compose. So I'm going to explain it. So version 3.8 of Docker Compose is being used. And then the services and then the service underneath the services called Dashdot. And then I'm going to set a Docker image and it's coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. So it defaults to Docker Hub. And then, and then there's no tag because this is using the latest tag by default. And also ports are 3001 on the host. And if this does collide with another port on your host system, you can change this. And then in the container is 3001 and you cannot change this port. I'm going to set a volume. So I'm going to mount the, uh, the base to mount host and then re read only. So this is in the conta container, and this is on the host. And then now I'm going to set privilege as true, and this runs the container in privilege mode, allowing it to access the host devices. So now I'm going to um, get I get this installed on Portainer. So I'm going to go over here to copy raw file, and then copy it, and then now you've copied the Docker Compose. So now we can go to our port portainer stacks. So now I'm going to start on my port portainer. I'm going to go to home, local, stacks, and then add stack. And all stacks are is they use Docker Compose underneath. So I'm going to put a name in. So dash dot stack. So now I'm going to scroll down to web editor right here. And I'm going to paste in what we copied over in Big Bear Video Assets. So here you go. And then now I'm going to scroll down. You can deploy the stack down here. Okay, now it's deployed. So um, now we can get to explaining the options. So now I'm going to go in the stacks. And then now you can stop this stack, delete this stack, and create template from this stack. You can also go in the editor right here and change your Docker Compose. And then you can update the stack. So this repull image and redeploy is, um, I, if we were using the latest tag um, on a different image or anything, then um, if the developer pushes an update to the latest tag, then you would need to get down the updates from that and redeploy it. So that's what this does. So now we can move on to container options. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now we can scroll down and we can look at the containers right here and then we can go into the logs and you can inspect, you can see the stats, console and attach. You can also have options up here to stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove and recreate and duplicate. And you can also start it if it's stopped. Um, access control, create image and then the image right here and the Shea hash and then um, the port configuration so on the host side is 3001 and then the container is 3001 the command option is yarn start and then the entry point is docker entry point dot sh 
You can see environment variables right here. You can see the labels. You can also see this, uh, the restart policy and you can, you can add one like unless stopped on failure and always. You can also see the volumes that are mounted. So root and then mount on host. So mount and host is on the container side. And then you can see it created a network, a dash dot stack default network right here. And that's a bridge. So that's a little bit about the container options. So now I'm gonna go to the web UI for dash dot. So I'm gonna put my portainer's IP address in. I'm gonna put 3001 on it. And I'm gonna go to it by return or enter. And then now you can see OS information. You can see processor, storage, memory, and network. You can also uh, use dark mode and light mode. You can show all cores. So that's a little bit about the UI. So I just went over step by step on getting Dash Dot working on Portainer. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.